Ho ho ho! Hi folks, Dane here, and today I'm doing something of an annual tradition. I'm doing my Christmassy update, where I look back at the year that was and look ahead to the year that will be. Because who needs the Queen's speech when you can listen to an indie author rambling about books? 2017 has been a crazy year. I mean, just in general, it's been weird anyway, just because of the international political scene and various bits and bobs that are going on in the world. But at the same time, for me it's been odd because it's involved a lot of change, so... Um, well, let me start with the books, because in my Christmas video last year, I talked about all the books that I published, and last year, in 2016, I published four books. In 2017, I published one book, and it is Subject, Verb, Object, and even this isn't technically my book. Um, it's an anthology of short stories that I collected and edited, along with my editor, Pamelise Harris. And I have got a short story in here and I wrote the introduction and whatnot, but it's not like a full novel or anything. However, it is still a book, so I have still published one book this year, which is pretty good. The reason that I haven't published more books this year, especially when compared to last year, is because there's also been a big career change. So um, I used to work in social media marketing and as of June this year, I basically I quit my job to go freelance, so I'm now self-employed as a writer full-time, which is awesome. It's also very hard work. This year, I also invested in cryptocurrencies as well, so Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Ethereum. I did this in about September-ish, which turns out to have been a good time to do it because, I mean, right about now, I've made, I've almost tripled the money I put in, and I put in a fair amount. The other big news is I got a fur baby. So I've got a ah! I've got a fur baby. He is not very happy to be here by the looks of it. He doesn't like being in front of videos. But yes, I got a fur baby. His name is Biggie Cobain. Yeah, so I got a cat. I've uh, I've always been a big animal lover, but um, I've never had like a real pet. I mean, since leaving home and going to live by myself and whatnot, I've had mice and gerbils and stuff. But I've always wanted a cat, and also I always wanted a dog as well. But my house at the moment is too small for a dog. So we, we compromised and we got Biggie Cobain. Basically, where he used to live, uh, the landlord there had turned the building into a giant constructing site. He was, he was building an extra floor on top of the building and it just wasn't good for the cat to live there and, and uh, the girls who owned him just couldn't really look after him anymore because he was getting too big because <laughs> he's a big old beast. I mean, it's very rewarding having a cat. It's one of the most rewarding things I've ever done. So I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad I have Biggie. He's my baby. Obviously this year as well, especially towards the end of this year, I've been getting into booktube. So I never, I used to watch a lot of booktube. I always have and I made the odd video on my blog channel, but I've kind of made the switch to making videos on my main channel and doing it more often and being more, more of the part of the community and stuff. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's great. So thank you all for having me and for watching me ramble. And the only other thing really is the Young Writer of the Year Award, which was obviously big news for me just being asked to be one of the members of the shadow panel. And um, uh, they choose a different panel each year, so it's kind of a one-off, once-in-a-lifetime thing, I guess, really. And, um, yeah, it was cool to do that, too. So, just looking ahead to 2018, right off the bat, we've got new books coming. So, we've got Driven, my new detective novel, which will be out on Saturday, the 27th of January. I, I finished the first draft of that last Christmas. And so it's been over a year in edits and whatnot due to just me being crazy busy. But I'm super excited that it's finally coming out and soon I'll get to share it with you all. And another book that should be out early 2018 is one that I've ghostwritten for a client as well. So obviously I can't tell you a huge amount about it, but it will be super cool to hold that book as well, even though obviously it's not being published under my name. So those are coming out right at the start of the year, but I'm sure I'll have at least one other, possibly two more books coming out. I'm about two thirds of the way through a new book of poetry. I've got the sequel to Driven written and a collection of short stories in that universe. I'm 45,000 words into a new novel based on a factory farm as well. So I'm hoping at least one or two more books will be out um, in 2018. Another thing that I'm planning on doing in 2018 is moving to a new house. So don't get me wrong, I do quite like living here, but it's very small and it's just too small now. I need to, I need to regularly upgrade to a bigger house so that I have more book room because <laughs> I keep all of my books. So that should happen at some point in 2018. My lease runs out here in March. 
So I'll keep you guys all updated about that as well. Once I do have a new house, I'll probably do a load of videos as well, just in terms of even just unpacking and realphabetizing all of my books and stuff. It should be interesting because it'll take forever. And obviously 2018 is also my world domination year, so I'm kind of settled in with freelancing now. Life seems to be going pretty well. All, th all in all, I'm in quite a good, positive place. So now it's just a case of kind of executing and, you know, doing stuff. So hopefully I've got my work-life balance pretty well sorted out now. It seems to be pr doing pretty well. Uh, the only thing really is I'm struggling with insomnia a lot, but my depression, my anxiety is pretty good. So swings and roundabouts i'd rather not sleep than just be miserable all the time or you know convinced i'm about to die so yeah that's pretty much it on that note i'm gonna love you and leave you because i'm sure you've got presents to be unwrapping and people to be seeing and all this stuff thanks for all of your support in 2017 as well it means a lot do subscribe leave a comment on this video like all that kind of stuff and uh yeah let's let's take 2018 by storm